All right, I'm making it for Tuesday. We're gonna have a little bit of fun and we're going to use the battery operated chainsaws that I have, which is the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. We're gonna take this to my neighbor's yard and we're gonna find out if these battery operated chainsaws are suitable to actually cut up a 30 to 45 foot branch that fell off of his tree last week. I'm more than happy to help my neighbor out. So this is actually gonna be fun. And I seriously wanna put these to the test and see if these actually would do the trick. And please stay tuned to the end. We are actually gonna also test out PowerStack 1.7 amp hour battery in the chainsaw to see if this is actually capable of doing the task. This Milwaukee M12 is actually a good little chainsaw. As you can see, it does these tasks very easily. I cannot believe in how well that Milwaukee actually made this chainsaw. And it's also very user friendly. You cut a branch like this and so make sure you get all the leaves off because like in a lot of states, you are not allowed to burn this. I'm not allowed to burn leaves in Illinois. So I separate the leaves from the actual rest of the log. This chainsaw really is amazing. It, it it is. I seriously love that I got this. I got I got this first when it came out. Of course, this chainsaw does have its ups and downs. Something like this, the chainsaw could easily get pinched if the branch falls on it. And just like that, you get to just swap and just keep on cutting it. It really is an amazing chainsaw. Nobody could deny that. It's very useful. So as you can see, I have separate piles for stuff that I want to burn. When it comes to the bigger stuff, you want to use a more powerful chainsaw with the bigger motor so you don't have to worry about stress on small motors. And as you can see, these battery operated chainsaws actually do the, do the trick well. The battery I have in this chainsaw is the XR 6 amp hour with 21700 cells. And it seriously does the trick. If it's quiet to use, you don't have to worry about gas, you don't have to worry about winterizing. Uh, it's, it, neighbors don't mind this chainsaw at all. It's, it's not annoying to use, it's lightweight. You don't have to worry about revving this up to keep this going. And if you really wanted to, you just can flat out th throw it on the ground and not have to worry about the motor running at all. And of course, there are situations to where you could pinch the chain in these as well, since there is tension on the bottom of the of the log. And this chainsaw really makes quick work of this size of log. That's a pinch situation to where I couldn't cut it anymore, so I had to kick it. Very lightweight, you could extend your arm with like nothing, because it's it's not much at all. So this log is about 30 to 45 feet, and I seriously want to help my neighbor out. It's been sitting in his yard for about a week, and there's no reason to hire service for this or rely on the city. It took like about two hours with filming it to get this done. And I now have a bigger burn pile. I just want to show you really quick on how to cut a log easily without uh, bogging up the chain. All you gotta do is just go a certain depth, then give it a little rotation, then you continue on, then you rotate a little bit more, and you just keep on doing that process until it is complete and the task is done. Very easy to use. And of course, common courtesy, instead of having a bunch of wood chips everywhere, just blow them around and thin them out so it doesn't kill the grass. This is the last big log. I wanted to test out the 1.7 amp hour battery to see if this was able to do it. 1.7 amp hour battery, the battery is full. I tried and tried and gave it all and unfortunately the 1.7 amp hour just doesn't have enough amp hours to do this task. This tool requires a lot more power than that 1.7 amp hour could provide. It's all good but that's why they make higher amp hour batteries. I'm excited about the other, I'm excited about the PowerStack higher amp hour batteries that are going to come out. I want to put those to the test as well.
and just kept on stopping and I you know, rotated the log to see if I can go at a different angle and it, the chain would just stop again. So as you can see that these battery operated chainsaws are actually good to do the task. Obviously to do this all day, every day, you need a certain amount of batteries just to keep them rotating on charge. But this one branch took up two six amp hour batteries, a six amp hour XR and a six amp hour flex volt. I also tested the four amp hour battery. The four amp hour battery uh, with the 21700 cells did not do the trick. We did test the power stack battery out. This wasn't able to do the trick either. This uh, tool requires too much of a demand. A higher amp hour battery is required for this tool to operate efficiently. And so yeah, but these battery operated chainsaws actually do do the trick and it's so nice to have them in my arsenal if you're a professional homeowner you guys really need battery operated chainsaws like you could start off with this hatchet you the hatchet did very well when it comes to the small stuff it can do the bigger stuff as well but if you have a bigger chainsaw you might as well just do that like but this hatchet is seriously awesome for a 12 volt tool i mean this is very powerful for a 12 volt tool and it's fun to use because look how cute it is and with the power that it has it's amazing so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time